All right, we're getting ready to put the timing belt back on. So we're making sure that our timing marks are lined up. On my camshaft sprocket, I've marked mine with a little bit of white paint right there. And then it matches up with the notch in the timing belt cover. There's my notch right there. Then underneath, Alright, down here on our crank, so we've got our, our marks lined up, the two arrows are matched up. I'm going to back this off three notches counterclockwise. One, two, three, and then I'm going to come back. To within one half notch one there we go we're one half notch off all right we're gonna put the timing belt on we start off we put it on the uh, crankshaft right there we keep tension on it come up around the water pump onto the crankshaft or the camshaft and then slip it onto the idler pulley all right so here Kara, you hold this just kind of be down there watching where i'm uh doing the pulley so i'm gonna start it off on the crankshaft here now i have i'm using the same belt a brand new one when I took it off, I put an arrow pointing to which way the rotation went, and I run front of vehicle. That way, you put it back on the same way. Right. So we start off on the. Oh yeah, there's a lip down here, so that's why you have to put this first to fit it in. Let's see if it's. Uh, yeah. So it, it takes a little bit to get that on. We we'll take the belt, keep tension on it. There we go. Keep that tight. Put it on my time marks. Okay, I've got it around my crank, my camshaft sprocket. Slide it over. Make sure my belt teeth are in the sprocket there. And then slip it over the idler pulley. Alright, so we have it on there. It's tight. It's in the teeth. And then we'll see what's the next step here. Alright, that's good. And then we'll see what's next. Okay, now that we have the belt on, it says for us to take the slack out of it by rotating at the half turn and bringing our marks back online. Right there. Alright, All right, we're getting ready to put the, uh, the hydraulic tensioner back on to do that. We've got the torque wrench on the belt. I need some light. Torque wrench on the belt on the uh, idler right there. We're going to pull back till it clicks. We've got it set at 21 foot-pounds. 
And then uh, while she holds that there for me, I'm going to come down here and put it back. It goes right there. And I'm going to install it with the pin still in it. And then put it in there, bolt it in. Then I'll torque it down. And, uh, and then we'll test it to make sure it's okay. All right, go ahead and pull the torque wrench. Pull back till it clicks. You gotta hold it when it clicks. All right, hold it. I'm gonna slide this up till we make contact. I'm gonna tighten it down. Hold. All right, go ahead and release the wrench. There you go. Okay. All right. So you might need a set of hands to help you with this one. All right. These bolts get torqued down to 23 foot pounds. They are 13 millimeter. Okay, so we got the tensioner on. My marks up here look good, and my marks down here look good. They're lined up. So next thing, we're going to pull that pin out of the uh, tensioner, and we're going to rotate this, the crankshaft, we're going to rotate it twice around. Every two revolutions here, when this mark goes around once, the camshaft sprocket goes around halfway. The second time you come around, your camshaft mark should return and be lined up. So uh, that's what we're going to test next. All right, to test the tensioner and see if it's correct, we pull out our pin. And if we can put it back in, like it, easily. It goes right back in. And that's we know that the tension is correctly set. Now, I said 21 foot pounds on here. This uh, pulley, idle pulley, uh, when my daughter held it, the book says 21 inch pounds, but uh, I don't know if that's a typo. I don't have a wrench that'll go that low. Um, 21 inch pounds. I, I don't know what that would do. Uh, Last time I did the timing belt was 21. I misread it. I did the same this time, but uh, I'll have to double check. I'll put I'll put a, a little blurb across here on the bottom somewhere or something if, when I find out. But that's what I'm doing. So be aware the book does say 21 inch pounds, uh, but I cannot go that low, and I don't know, you know, if that's enough to do anything. But my pen goes in and out easily. Like I said, I'm going to crank this around twice and make sure my marks are still lined up good. And if so, then I've got the timing belt installed correctly. All right, here we go. Damn it. Stuff works better when you get the right size. This is a 19 millimeter. Now, if we feel any resistance, real hard resistance, you know, like we've run into something, we stop. Because, you know, we don't want to damage pistons hitting valves and Lord knows what else. And we're almost worn around. Of course, there is tension because those, uh, those are brand new valve springs. And, of course, you feel it, like, roll around on you because the springs release tension and stuff. That's, all right, here we come. Have a little bit of control here. I don't wanna go past it. That's what I'm worried about. Boom. All right. 
Let's see up top. And our marks are lined up. Woo, thank you, Lord. So that's very good. Now we can proceed with what's the next step? Uh, oh, yeah. Well, let me see. It's either putting the the crankshaft pulley back on, the damper pulley, or the assembly for the uh, the bracket that has the tensioner and the power steering bracket. Let me see which one is the next step we're getting into here. <laughs> 